Vicente, congratulations. Obviously, uh, an incredibly exciting fight in a short period of time. Uh, how are you feeling right now after, after that fight? Thanks, man. Uh, I'm really excited. I think it's, I, I kind of, I mean, I've been envisioning this for a while. You know, training camp has been going on great. I visualized this win, but actually coming here, having the fight, winning the fight, it's, it's much better than I expected. You know, biggest win in my career and definitely super excited. I know you had a lot of respect for Tyron coming in, but that might be the best we've seen him in a long time. I mean, did you expect him to come out that aggressively or did it, did it take you by surprise? I did expect that. Uh, you know, he really started real strong and I, I expected it because it's crazy. Whenever somebody's going to fight me, I always get the best out of those guys. I don't know if it's my style and they know that I'm going to go in there to try to knock them out and submit them every single minute of the fight. But for some reason, I always get the best version of every fighter. And I'm good with that. You know, I get ready and it's good because it never uh, lets me underestimate my opponents. So I was ready for that. And I think I showed, I really like the fight, how it went, because I showed a little bit of my wrestling, which I've been working so much on. And yeah, guys cannot take me down that easy now. And I, and I can keep on standing and, and striking. So yeah, it was a great fight. Yeah. I mean, you, you kept your guard high and blocked a lot of it, but it, it seemed like some of them may have connected a little bit. I mean, were you, were you dazed at all in there? Yeah, he connected uh, a little bit behind my ear with a strong right hand. I knew he hits hard. I knew that, you know, I didn't want to get punched by him clean, but it ended up connecting. Thank God I have a hard chin. Uh, I'm used to, you know, getting hit and be able to survive. But for a little bit, I lost a little bit of my balance. I kind of saw two or three of him. But I knew at that point, he's going to come and try to knock me out now. And I'm just going to, you know, use my, my skills in striking to try to counterattack him. And it paid off. You know, he, he came in trying to knock me out. I hit him clean, got him hurt, and then eventually worked for the finish. Yeah, I was going to say, as he was hurt and staggering around, like, what's going through your head? Are you thinking, hey, let's go finish this fight? Or is it more like, hey, let's, let's be careful and not get caught by anything silly? No, it's let's go finish that fight. Yeah, I mean, that, that's my style. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of cautious a little bit. I don't want to get hit uh, with stupid stuff. But at the same time, when I see an opening, I'm going to go for it. I'm not, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know how to not go for the finish. If I see that finish, I'm going to chase it. I'm going to look for, like, create an opportunity. And that's what I did. I heard him, so I, I kept on trying to knock him out. Once we got to the ground, I saw, yeah, I don't think this guy's going to get knocked out that easy. He has a hard chin, so let me submit him. And, and it worked out at the end. Did you know the choke was in, or did, were you worried you might have to adjust and, and, and uh, you know, do something else? I went for it because it was in. You know, uh, I don't go to chokes if they are not 100% in. That's something Gilbert talked to me a lot about. Don't waste your energy in something that you're not sure of. And... So from then on, I always go to a submission only if I know it's going to finish. And that one was pretty tight. I knew it was going to finish. Woodley worked really good because he, he's good at that submission as well. So I, I could hear his corner man and they were saying, hey, you know how to get out of that. Do what you, what you got to do to get out. And I was hearing them and I was thinking like, man, I know he knows, but this is really tight. I don't think he's, you're, you're getting out. And at the end, he tapped. So it was a great win. And I mean, perfect night. Nice. Last thing for me, I mean, I know ahead of time you said, hey, top five is what makes sense next. But, you know, we talked about the history with, with Leon, the history with Wonderboy. I mean, is there a fight that makes the most sense to you right now? Sense? I don't know. I'm not really good with sense. But the fight I really wanted, Kamaru took it. I wanted to fight Masvidal. I think that fight would be a banger. Our styles match up really good. That's why I also I called out Nate Diaz. I think our styles match perfect. And if he's interested in coming out of retirement, I'll not fight a top five to fight him. But, you know, my focus is on the top of the division. So, I don't know, Leon Edwards, well, Wonder Boy, two guys that beat me. I would love those rematches. But we'll see. We'll see. There are many fights up there, and I definitely want a, a, a high-level opponent right now. Sente, uh, right here. Uh, you you made, it, made it known you were obviously a big fan of Tyron in there before you guys even fought. Did anything in there, while you're, while you're fighting him, in the back of your mind, you're like, I've seen this a thousand times from him from watching his tape, and you, you basically knew what was coming before he threw it? Yeah, uh, when we were clinched in the wall, and I was kind of like pummeling, and, and he was throwing some knees, I was trying to hit him with knees, and I was just looking at him, and I'm like, man, I'm really fighting Woodley. 
this, this is kind of crazy. But that was just a split second, and then I heard Gilbert, I heard my, co heard my cor corner man speaking, and I'm like, okay, get back to the fight, and, and let's do what we, what we trained for. But yeah, it's different. It's, it's a, a big thing when you fight somebody that you watch for so long. But I think the fight against Wonderboy helped me out a lot with this fight because in that fight, it was kind of the same. I watched a lot of Wonder Boy fighting, and when I was in there, I kind of had a little bit, you know, I was a little bit nervous, a little bit uh, excited because I was fighting, you know, a guy that had already fought for the title. After that loss, I realized, man, these guys are just like me. They've worked their way up, and they are there because they deserve it. That's what I'm doing. I'm working my way up, and I'm here because I deserve it. That's why, like, now I can see these guys. I can see myself at the same level of these guys, and I, I don't know. It's just another fight for me, but it was, yeah, it was super exciting to fight a guy that was a champion and that I used to watch a lot and be a fan of. Were you able to share any words with him after the fight? Yeah, I talked a little bit, and most of all, I thank him for the fight. I think that, you know, whenever you're fighting somebody that is uh, up and coming, it's tough, you know, you, you've been a champion, you've, you want to fight the best in the world, and now you're fighting an up-and-coming fighter. I, I, I just was thanking him for taking this fight and really going in there and, and bringing all the best of his. And having a great fight, you know, I, th I think it was a banger. Then, say you don't get the Nate Diaz fight and all these other fighters are, are kind of matched with other people. You haven't main evented any fights yet. Is that another thing you're looking, to for looking forward to down the line? You are in action. Fighter, you had a lot of fight nights coming up. They want to do fights around the world now. So are you also looking for five-round fights in the future? Definitely. Uh, I think I'm ready for a five-round fight. I think that I've been, I've been evolving every single spot of, of my game. Uh, that's wrestling, striking, jiu-jitsu, and also uh, strength and conditioning. My cardio is great. I really feel like I'm ready for, the, for those five-round fights, and we'll see. A main event would interest me a lot, and... Yeah, I want especially to fight with big crowds. I miss that a lot. And yeah, we'll see what's going, what happens next. In the corner. It, right after the fight, it looked like you were talking to your coach, kind of running back a couple of things that happened in the fight. Is that what was going on? Yeah, I was. Uh, I let him know that I was asking them what kind of what, what shot was the one that hit me because I felt that something hit me behind the head but I didn't know if it was an overhand or just a straight right and they kind of let me know and I said yeah he hits hard I mean I expected him to hit hard but once you actually get hit you you realize how hard uh, Woodley actually does hit and I don't know I was kind of excited for the win but also like man he hit me and it, it was crazy how all it went down I thought that in striking, I would have like, you know, clean fight. That's what I always want to have. Besides that, it was a clean fight, but he hit me with that right hand. I was kind of like, yeah, we got to correct that mistake. And I always like to talk to my coaches after my fight. And even though it's a win, I still want to see what I can improve after this fight. You mentioned Wonder Boy and Leon Edwards running that back. What's different for you now if you were to take those fights again? I think I'm, I'm better. I'm a better fighter in every single aspect. Also, I'm more experienced. I've been, you know, fighting. I've had, after Wonderboy lost, I changed a lot of things in my training that I had kind of overlooked. So I think I'm a better fighter overall, and I'm more experienced right now. So I think that I'm really ready to have this, this you know, rematches, and it's going to be a different fight for sure. Did the, uh, congrats on the win, Vicente. Um, how much did your game elevate? I know you were ready, you were prepared, but did it give you a little extra spark that you were elevated to the co-main event of a big pay-per-view in Vegas? Definitely. Uh, I always like to have the most eyes on me on my fights, and being the co-main event, I knew that that meant you know a little bit more people are going to be watching me. So, yeah, uh, it motivated me, it pumped me up to go in there and get a big win like this one, and. I think the biggest thing that the, my biggest motivation is having the best fight for the crowd. That's something that has always been in my mind since my, my first fights, you know, much before the UFC. I've never been able to have boring fights. That's something I don't want to have. If I'm, if I'm there and I got to stall, I'm not going to do that. I'll do something else, even if it costs me, you know, the, the win, but I'm going to have exciting fights. And yeah, being a co-main event for sure was, was a big motivator.
Well, that was definitely exciting, whether it be Apex or if that would have been at Raider Stadium, people would have went nuts. Thank you for that. Thank you.